In today's edition of The Dish, we bring in our resident baker and entertainer, meteorologist Adam Joseph. And Adam has been busy making thousands of Christmas sweets, which I had a chance to try a couple weeks ago, so I'm looking forward to trying these. So good. So we asked you, the viewers, what should he make for us? Close to 8,000 of you voted, and the winner is his jam-filled shortbread cookies. He takes me inside his brand new baking nook at home. Wait till you see it. It's Gorge to share his secrets. So I was happy. like, I want to be on the dish. You, you are the dish. This is my, my cookbook-ish that I started. So this houses all my deepest, darkest, delicious dishes. And today, we're making the recipe you voted for. It's just a simple, you know, jam-filled shortbread recipe. But this shortbread is special because it has a touch of your Swedish roots. It does. I use lingonberry jam in the middle. We start with unsalted butter, four sticks. Butter is your best friend yes. when you're baking. And you're gonna turn that on and just let it cream. Great. Add one cup of granulated sugar and two teaspoons vanilla. You cannot buy store-bought vanilla. You need to make your own vanilla extract. This cost me probably like less than $5. I mean, you gotta be frugal. Next, Adam calls this the secret weapon of all weapons. Randy. Randy. Oh, it adds another little depth of flavor. Now slowly add five cups of flour and salt. People usually use flour when they roll out dough. Yeah. Or it will dry the dough out if you have so much flour. Okay. So this is also a little tip. Powdered sugar. Stop it. Now don't over mix because we'll finish kneading this on the counter. See, look at that. I mean, look how beautiful that dough is. Wrap up that dough and refrigerate overnight, but let it sit out for a bit before you start to roll. I just go in the middle, press it out, and then you roll. It's a sandwich cookie, so we need two sides, and we chose an ornament shape. And then the ones you have here, I'm gonna make a little hole in the middle, so you can okay. get that little seat, that, that, that window. We're gonna get the peekaboo hole on these. Yeah. <laughs> so that later the jam peeks through. Can you yes, smell the that? The smell is amazing. It's amazing, right? Let them cool, then add that jam. Look at these. They're adorable. Adorable little right? ornaments. Oh my gosh, they're precious. <laughs> For the final touch, we got a helper, Adam's daughter, Hannah. Look at that. Look at this. How beautiful, Hannah. She is a professional. <laughs> <laughs> she gets it from her daddy. Oh. Oh, this did great. Thanks. It's time for them to make it. All right. <laughs> Get on it. Christmas is right around the corner. Mm -hmm. How fun was that? I love it. He I love Hannah best. getting in the mix. Oh, yeah. She, she's, he gets the kids involved in everything. His husband, Carl, it's really, they share a lot of traditions with the family. Now, you can fill these cookies with any kind of jam or jelly or preserves, even mm -hmm. Nutella. If you want to give it a little bit of kind of like mm. the chocolate hazelnut taste, you know, whatever you want to fill it with, just make sure you got that peekaboo hole so you can see what's inside. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. And I love that he used lingonberry. Mm -hmm. I haven't had that since I was in Seattle and like Danishes and it was so good and I haven't found it out here. So I think that's a beautiful touch. I love that. Guess what? What? I made these. <gasps> You yes. did? Well, with Adam, yeah. Well, okay. Th th this was my batch. I and asked look, him specifically. We've got a box, mm -hmm. so we're gonna we're gonna have to do this when we go to break. Yeah, we're taking a bite right after this commercial break. Head to 6abc.com, the dish, for the recipe. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Adam. We love you. Bye, Adam.